pediatric urologists see boys and girls for any condition regarding the urinary tract, surgical and medical. That includes undescended testicles, hydronephrosis, which is also often referred to as swelling in the kidneys or fluid on the kidneys, voiding symptoms that children may have, which is very common during potty training years especially, but also persists after that. Dysuria or discomfort peeing, urinary frequency, urinary urgency, or any complaints that might have to do with the urinary tract. Stones as well kidney stones, ureteral stones, penile reconstruction for anomalies that children may be born with, including circumcisions or more detailed repairs, such as a hypospadias repair, vesico-ureteral reflux, where the urine is refluxing backwards from the bladder up into the kidneys, and that increases the risk of urinary tract infections and renal damage over the long term. And we also treat inguinal hernias, hydrocele's, bedwetting, and things like that as well. We've recruited a lot of pediatric urologists, so now there's three of us here, and we have a multi disciplinary conference. We all discuss interesting cases with each other as well as with Dr. Hidalgo of pediatric nephrology. And we have combined clinic hours so that you can see the pediatric urologist and the pediatric nephrologist at the same time. As a pediatric urologist, I do a lot of different types of surgeries, including minimally invasive, larger open surgeries, and robotic surgeries. Robotics is really kind of the new frontier, and it allows us to do surgeries in children through smaller incisions and have them bounce back quicker with less pain, less blood loss. And this is mostly better beneficial in the school-aged children and teenagers. In the smaller infants and toddlers, open surgery does work very, very well. But for the larger children, robotics has a huge benefit.